I'm Kim and today I'm showing you my TBR for the month of April. I didn't really stick to my TBRs at the beginning of the month, but in March I read every single book on my TBR. Well, except one which I started but didn't finish, but I'll talk about that in my wrap up. So I decided to again post a TBR video for the month of April and I also added a few more books than I usually did because I read a lot more books than were on my TBRs in the past couple of months. So yeah, I decided to just add a few more. I'm not sure if this is the best idea I've ever had because I kind of also like to be able to pick books based on my mood rather than ones I've picked out already. But I do have so many books that I really want to read. So I decided to just put a couple more on my TBR for the month. Let's start with the two books I do not have physically with me. The first one is a book I'm going to listen to on audiobook. It is A Game of Thrones, the first book in the Song of Ice and Fire series by George R. R. Martin. I don't think I have to say any more about this book. You probably all heard about it, even though maybe some of you haven't read it. But I decided to listen to it on audiobook. I probably be able to start with the second book as well, because while it is a pretty long book, it is 25 or 24 hours long on audiobook and I've listened to a couple of books that length already and I did finish them within like less than a month so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to start on the second one but I decided to put only the first one on my TBR. The book that I do not have physically with me is uh, eGalley that I got off of NetGalley and it is the first book in the Time Collector Collectors series and it is Time Weaver. It, it's a YA high fantasy novel with steampunk influences and I'm really excited to read it. The last book I finished was also heavily influenced by steampunk and I really really like this. I really like the world it was set in so I'm really excited to read this one. So on to physical books. The first two books are actually review copies I got off a German website that's like specially made for bloggers where you can request um, books for review and contrary to NetGalley you can actually request physical books and it's um, a website by Penguin Random House so yeah let's get into so the first one is this one both of them are in German and this one isn't actually available in English it's pretty new in German as well so it hasn't been translated yet and I'm not sure if it will be but I don't know. I still decided to show you, obviously, so you know what I'll be reading. It's by Frank Krefeld and it's called Der Weg des Inquisitors, which um, maybe you recognize the word Inquisitor. So it's taking place during the Inquisition. And yeah, I'm not sure if it is strictly a historical novel or is a historical fantasy novel, because I did not read the synopsis that, like, I did not pay that much attention to the synopsis because I want to be surprised. But I know it is about an inquisitor and he is obviously um, trying to kill as many witches as possible. And I think that the witches in this book are actually real witches and not just red-haired women. But I'm not sure, so we'll see. And I'm really excited because I've read a lot of historical fiction. I've also read a lot of historical fiction set during the time of the Inquisition. But I don't think I've ever read a historical fiction that was actually in historical fantasy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited to read this one. The second one is this one. It's by Ildefonso Falcones and it is called Das Lied der Freiheit. In English it's called The Barefoot Queen. And it's by a Spanish author and it also takes place in Spain. It's about um, a freed slave and um, this slave and her mistress, they were on their way by ship to Spain and on their way the mistress died so now she's free because there were just the two of them on the ship well obviously there were other people but there were a party of two and her mistress died so no one is there to like make her a slave again and um, they dock in Sevilla and now she has to kind of make her life there and See what happens. I don't know, I'm not sure, but I'm really looking forward to reading it. Then I decided to finish or continue some series and the first one I want to continue is The Riria Revelations by Michael J. Sullivan. And this is actually the wrong book. This is the second book in the series, but in this series every book has two parts or two books. So I'm not sure how to say it, but 
The first book in the series is called Theft of Swords and um, there are two books within this first book and I have only read the first of the first two books. So this is the second book and it has books three and four inside. So if that makes sense. And I didn't know this when I borrowed this from my library. So I have to go back and exchange this one for the first book. But since I have this one and not the first book, I decided to show you this one. So you can at least kind of see what I'm going to read. Then the next one is Traitor to the Throne by Alvin Hamilton. And I just read the first one, Rebel of the Sands, last month or this month, as I'm filming this still in March. And I really, really loved it. I loved the combination of Eastern and Western culture and I really love the protagonist so I'm really excited to finish or continue. I'm not exactly sure if it's a series or a duology so yeah I'm not sure if I will finish or continue the series with this book but we'll see. And then the last one is actually a duology that I will finish by reading this book and it's The Rose and the Dagger by René Arié, the first no, the second book in the Wrath and the Dawn series and I absolutely love this book. I read it in February and it's just, it's so amazing. It's a retelling of 1001 Arabian Nights and again, I love the Arabian culture, I love the Eastern cultures and it just, it was such an amazing book and I can't wait to finish the series with this book. Yeah. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of the books, what you think about them, what you plan on reading in April. And yeah, that's it. Bye!